Hi, welcome to Gramster. Today I'll be viewing this Foxwell Car OBD2 Diagnostic Scanner. And the model for this one is NT301. I'm going to show some of the highlights and features. If you want to read any part of this in more detail, just feel free to pause the video. This item cost about just under $70 off Amazon. And one of the features for it is that you can print the diagnostic information to a computer using a Windows computer. It came with a CD for it and also a mini USB cable to connect this device, the port on the bottom over here, to a Windows computer. I did not find the software for Mac. I just want to show a couple pages from the user manual. The manual is pretty well written, very easy to follow. And here's the technical specs for it. Power requirements connecting to it to a vehicle. Now, the cord is about three feet in length. For my vehicle, this is a 2009 Honda Accord. So my OBD2 port is right here. That's what it looks like. And there's only one way to plug it in because of the way this is shaped. The device itself has a nice, like a silicon grip on the side, easy to hold on to, very lightweight. I'm going to first plug the item in, and since my vehicle is already turned on, it just automatically powers up. And here's the directional pad, there's also read, erase, so I'm going to just press and hold the read. Now it's just linking with the vehicle. So there's no misfires, I have no codes found, and... Oh, it's asking do I want to erase the previous set of data? Sure, I don't need to save it. So I guess before there's no codes, but let's go live data for a sec here. Here, I'm gonna go view the data. And I can choose exactly what I want or view a complete list. So here's everything. So let's say like RPMs, for example, that's the one I can quickly modify. Currently is 650 RPM. I'm gonna pump the gas a little bit. And, and like half a second later, you can see the RPM kick up. About half a second, now it's down up to 1700, 900. Let me go back here for a second. Head back to the main screen here. Now, for over here, there's the erase codes. If the check engine light was on, and I've already addressed the issue for this vehicle, I just go here, enter, and it'll erase any of the trouble codes. That way, if I bring it to the DMV to get inspected, they're not gonna give me a hassle. Of course, after erasing the codes, you do have to drive the car for about 100 miles for it to build up any history. Now, earlier I mentioned about the the emission scan because now nowadays all vehicles they don't check the emissions through a tailpipe anymore anymore they just check it through the OBD2 port so I'm just press this here I just saw there's no misfires everything checks out fine some of these features is not readable for my vehicle but as far as this goes everything is perfect and back here for a second one other neat feature is DTC lookup so these are the problem codes when you read the codes sometimes if something comes up for your vehicle in the past you would need to take that code and go to a website go to your manufacturer's website and look it up with this one I'm just go DTC lookup. Here, I can put in the code and it's got information stored on here already. So for example, with my vehicle, one of the things I addressed was 0141 and it's O2 sensor. With the O2 sensor, it cost me about $150 to replace it, $160 to replace it. Then I get like a um, like $40 or $50 back when I bring the old part back to AutoZone. So something like that, just doing that once makes this purchase well worth it. Because if I would bring my car to a mechanic, they'd charge me more than $300 just to change the O2 sensor. 
if I did my when I do it myself, that's a hundred dollars roughly. Let me show the setup option here. I can adjust the language, configure the monitors, unit measure, either English or metric. I turn off the key beep and also the diagnostic beep. And then there's a tool, self-test, display keyboard or the LED. The LEDs are these three over here. It did not come with a travel bag, but that's not a big deal. I can always place this in a Ziploc bag. But overall, this item is great. Very easy to hold on to, easy to read LCD screen. The menu system, very easy to follow on, and it's great that they included the diagnostic codes in here. The, the buttons, nice, large, even if I was wearing gloves, I can still press them easily. And having a three foot cord comes in quite handy. If you use this once to do your own repair, you would have recouped the cost. So yes, I would recommend this. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Oakland Hamster.